Hey, what's up guys? This is Jay Rum, and today we're checking out FL Studio's playlist and how to track out beats inside of it. And this isn't the normal way that you're thinking if you're thinking it's file, export, wave files. This is, a, this is a little different way. Check this out. Here's our pattern. Now, let's say you just wanted to get the synths as wave files inside your playlist. Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in song mode and then head over to your mixer and you want the Nexus tracks. So go down, you'll see these save icons. Left click these and there's two ways to render these. You can hit Alt and then hit R and it'll bring up this or you can head up to the little down arrow, disk recording, render to waves and you can choose a 16, 24 or 32 bit file and let's see what this does let's just choose 16 the smallest files hit start and as you can see here we have our waves right in front of us and what's really useful for this stuff is you can come in here and you can take a certain part and you can just totally take it out or you can make it unique and have it reverse like that so you can have some cool effects you can start chopping up sounds you can do some stuff that you couldn't do with these when they're inside the piano roll and let's say you have automation like a filter sweep or something if you do this it'll still record that for you so you can still add effects automation all that stuff guys i hope this helped thumbs up subscribe and leave me some comments of some future tutorials that you guys would like and I'll try to get those to you ASAP. Have a good one, guys.